Well, happening this weekend, National Rebuild Day is happening on Saturday. Yeah, this is a day when skilled tradesmen and volunteers come together to help provide improvements for 24 different Portland homeowners. And joining us live with more is Executive Director with Rebuilding Together Portland, Mike Malone. Good morning. Good morning, Ken. Good morning, Emily. Good morning. Well, tell us about uh, Rebuilding Together. How did it start? And, uh, you know, just tell us about the extent of your work. Rebuilding Together has been around since 1973, and it was uh, founded down in Midland, Texas, as a way for a church group to give back to the people in their neighborhoods. And uh, it's been in Portland since 1991. And we uh, try and go out and do safety, health, and rehabilitation services to underserved populations in Portland, including the elderly, disabled, families with children, and veterans. Oh, that's fantastic. That's so big push happening this weekend for Rebuild Day this Saturday. Tell us about what's happening. We're going to be working on about 24 projects with 600 plus skilled and unskilled volunteers doing major repairs on their homes, again, to make them safer and healthier for them to live in. We're doing carpentry, plumbing, electrical. We do a lot of ADA modifications, grab bars, handrails, raised toilets. We do new porches. These people, a lot of them have fallen through their porches, their decks. And it's very un unsafe for them in their bathroom. We're doing a few walk-in showers to make sure that the home's uh, accessible to the people that live there. Um, Marjorie is 85. She lives alone. We're doing a walk-in shower for her and putting up a new security fence. A lot of these people live alone. Uh, Marjorie just lost her husband a year ago, so she's having a hard time uh, getting these type of maintenance issues. Uh, taking care of uh, uh, for herself and for her family. Aww. Yeah, that uh, definitely is a, is a big problem, especially as, as people get older and they don't have that kind of support that they had that they might have had when they were younger. Uh, how do you choose which homeowners get the help that you offer? We get referrals from all over the place, from 211, from Aging and Disability Services, from Meals on Wheels, neighbors. We go in and we look at the ones that we think we can best handle with our skill level and helping to meet their need. And then unfortunately we can't do everybody, but we select, this year we selected 24 to work on. If we can't help them, we work with them to find another agency that we partner with, three or four of them in Portland, to make sure that they get some type of help for, for some of their problems. Oh, so we don't great. just keep, keep Stranded. Yeah. Well, so now it's really wonderful that you've got some skilled tradesmen here who are donating their time and talents in some of these projects. Is it something that other people can, can get involved with, can volunteer? How can people learn more? We're all full for this weekend, but if they go to RTPDX, like the airport code, RTPDX.org, they can go in there and learn how to volunteer and what programs we have, have to offer and answer any questions that they have. All right. Uh, really, really great effort, and I know it's well appreciated out in the community. Mike Malone, thank you for joining us on AM Extra. And for more thank information, you. yes, thanks, Mike. If you would like to get involved with Rebuilding Together, again, that website is rtpdx.org.